I think we're going live, everybody. Did it work? I love how I have no idea if you can see me or hear me, but <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> Am I live? Am I live? Let's see, we're making sure all the connections are working. We're making sure that you can see me and you can hear me, which is really important because I have really important things to say. No, I'm just kidding. Are we live? I think we're live. This is the joys of live YouTubing. Um, it takes, there's a delay, so it takes a few seconds for everything to catch up, but I wanna make sure that my voice matches my lips. So hold on, we're just, we're just, and we're live everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It is an absolutely stellar Chicago Saturday afternoon. The sun is shining, it is hot. It is summertime in the city, baby. And I'm so excited. Tonight we're hosting a sunset beach picnic right two blocks away on Oak Street Beach for 26 of our closest friends. And on the menu, all kinds of earthy and elegant make-ahead food. Um, this is my go-to summer-centric portable recipe for a pesto and arugula pasta salad. The recipe originated from Hawaii. We were staying with our friends and the day that we were leaving, unfortunately, they got stuck at work. So I rummaged through their fridge, found all these yummy ingredients and decided to whip them up dinner so that when they came home, they had a beautiful dinner waiting for them in their refrigerator as a surprise. I call this my perfect summer salad because it uses all fresh ingredients and it's perfect for all the upcoming summer markets, uh, farmer's markets, and you make the entire thing in one big giant bowl. So I love that because I don't have to slave over the loading the dishwasher and you know because I'm not very good at that it's like Tetris which I was never good at that as a kid and it uses all kinds of beautiful ingredients readily available at your local grocery store some of you may even able to grow some of this we're going to use fresh arugula fresh basil green onions some fresh parsley so it's all things that are really available at most grocery stores and maybe even in your gardens this summer. So let's get started. Um, I have, I'm gonna change my view so you can see what I have. And so you'll see what I have is I have one big giant bowl here. So this bowl is filled with two pints of cherry, uh, grape, grape tomatoes. And how I like to chop them is instead of chopping them in half this way, I think they don't look as great that way. I like chopping them kind of on vertically, if that makes sense, so that you get long, lean, beautiful cuts. And this recipe, everything happens in one big giant bowl and all of the ingredients go in. You put in some freshly cooked pasta and then after that, everything is tossed together and you have this gorgeous salad. So. This is the two pints of, these are two pints of grape tomatoes cut in half. And then we're gonna add some pesto. So I like to use a store-bought pesto. Basil isn't quite in season in bulk at the markets yet. So this is a great store-bought brand uh, variety, if you will. And all I have to do is add this into my tomatoes as well. Of course, if you have a garden bursting with basil and you make your own pesto, by all means, use your recipe or yours. This is about seven ounces of pesto, about this, about this entire jar. Okay. And then we're gonna add some fresh basil. So I love adding the fresh basil to this dish because even though it already has basil pesto, this fresh basil is going to help kind of strengthen that basil flavor in the pesto 
and uh, make it taste a little bit fresher, a little bit more bright, which is always good. So fresh basil, I just like to stack up the leaves pretty roughly. Nothing has to be perfect. And we're just gonna give this a nice rough chop. We're gonna do a, eh, about a third of a cup of roughly chopped basil, take those few stems off. Growing up living in on the East Coast, we went to the beaches all summer long. So tonight's picnic is really special because I've never done a sunset beach picnic in Chicago. And I live two blocks from the beach, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity this long glorious weekend for memorial day to pack up this gorgeous salad and some other things and make this picnic come to life the other thing we need are some green onion or scallions however you call them and i like to use the white and light green parts and for scallions you'll see they kind of look like a pitchfork so what i do is i take my knife and i run the blade right along this each stalk and kind of cut it in half the kind of the the thicker ones cut it in half and then cut away for this salad I don't want giant pieces of green onion I want them to be about the same size as the basil and the parsley so everything will be kind of in unison and the same size, which will make enjoying every bite of this gorgeous salad even better. All of these measurements are on my website, marksievers.com, so you don't have to be uh, sitting there like we were doing in the 60s. Well, I wasn't doing it in the 60s, but my grandmother was doing it in the 60s, watching Julia Child and frantically writing down recipes. You can get this recipe and so many more at marksievers.com. So this is a a half a cup of roughly chopped green onion there we go eh, that looks good doesn't have to be perfect right into the bowl and then we want some fresh parsley so I like to use Italian leaf parsley I think it has amazing flavor and to get parsley off the stems you just kind of take your knife and run it backwards, if you will, just like that. And the stems are pretty tender and also have flavor. So you can chop up the stems too and add them right in. If you get a few stems in your parsley, it doesn't matter too much. Sylvia from Germany, I remember you, darling. You, I hand delivered a book to you in Berlin that your brother picked up, I hand delivered a copy of Entertaining with Love and you paid me in euros, which I thought was so fabulous because that was my first international book sale that I was uh, aware of. So hi, Sylvia. Hold on, I'm waving to you. Look, I really am. Hi, Sylvia, I'm waving to you. Ciao from uh, Chicago. All right, so let's get back to this uh, lovely salad here. So in goes the fresh parsley. We're gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of salt. I like to use sea salt. Some people love kosher salt. Just use a really good salt and not that uh, table salt that comes in, that, in a, a blue can. And then about a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. I've made this salad about 9,000 times, <laughs> so I'm pretty well aware of what uh, these measurements are and what it looks like going into the bowl. And then to add a little heat, I'm gonna add in some crushed red pepper flakes, about a half a teaspoon or more, if you like it a little bit spicier. And then lemon zest. So lemon zest adds so much flavor to recipes. And that's, we're going we're gonna to hold off on the lemon zest because that is, my pasta is ready. So we're going to drain this quickly and we're going to set this aside before we put in the lemon zest. So this is one pound of fusilli. I like fusilli for this because I think the little ridges capture 
all of this delicious pesto. I know it looks like I'm pouring this pasta and draining it onto my counter. My sink is right here. Ooh, it's like a facial. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna drain that really well, and we'll carry that back in here. So for this salad, we're gonna put that right there, let that drain. So lemon zest, I love lemon zest because the zest adds so much flavor into recipes, and this is a rasp, so a rasp is essentially this a microplane, um, they're the same thing, and what it does is it takes just the bright yellow pit um, rind off of the, the lemon, which is where all that essential oil and flavor is. You don't want to go too deep because you'll get into that white pith, which uh, is pithiful. <laughs> and kind of bitter, so we don't want to do that. We're going to do about this one whole lemon. You can use the zest of any fruit, limes, oranges, grapefruits, lemons, anything that has a really beautiful rind to it. Uh, this really does add tremendous flavor. And I like to do it over the bowl because when you do this at home, you'll notice that as you're zesting away, you'll see all of the essential oils start kind of squirting from that rind and that zest. And you want those in your dish, not on your board. So look at that. So that's some lemon. And then we're going to add about one cup of Parmesan cheese. Or more. <laughs> and then my cooked pasta. So this is one pound of fusilli. And we're going to give this a big toss, really gentle. We don't want to break up the tomatoes. Ugh, the hot pasta against all of the pesto and the fresh herbs and the lemon zest really does smell amazing. So of course you can serve this warm right now. Hi, everybody. So of course you can serve this hot. You can serve it right now when it's ready for a beautiful dinner al fresco. You can let it come to room temperature and serve it as a side dish. Or you can put it in the refrigerator and bring it out a couple days later and then serve it, uh, you know, whenever you're ready. I will say that I find that when you put things like summer salads and make-ahead food in the refrigerator. When you take it out, let it come to room temperature before you serve it, and you always need to re-season it with more salt and pepper, probably some more fresh herbs. Um, you know, the flavors do intensify as it sits in the fridge, but it also, in an odd way, kind of loses some of that seasoning. So, my, my hands are very like this today, where, you know, we don't want to lose that seasoning. Um, so this, everybody, is a perfect, let's taste it and make sure everything's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really, this is not that uh, pasta salad that Aunt Claire used to bring to cookouts. <laughs> this is packed of flavor, really delicious, really simple, and I think if you bust this out at your next party, you, your guests are going to have a wonderful, wonderful meal. So listen, here's the deal. This was YouTube Live really quick today. I'm in my beach clothes. I'm even wearing my bathing suit. Um, I want you to head over to Instagram. Find me, Mar MJ Seavers on Instagram, and follow along for the rest of the day. I'm going to make a corn and avocado salad in my stories. I'm going to walk you through all of the prep for tonight's festive beach picnic and even though you're watching me from somewhere in the world you're gonna feel like you are right there on the beach with me this evening uh, putting our toes right in the sand thank you so much for watching I hope you had a wonderful time and uh, I'm Mark Sievers
See you later. Bye. I'm gonna eat more salad, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut so you don't see me eat. <laughs> Bye guys.